Why is my email not working on my iPhone? Welcome to iPhone Black and White Troubleshooting. This is the video series I'm putting up where we try not to make these long videos. I try and we just dive in and actually just try to troubleshoot exactly different problems that people may be having. Now, a lot of people will have issues when it comes to their iPhone or their iPad not receiving their email. And most likely the solution for this is actually gonna be really, really simple and most likely the problem doesn't have anything at all to do with your iPhone or your iPad. Um, it's an issue with the email service provider, so I'm gonna kinda cover that a little more in depth. But let's go ahead and kinda take a look at the things that you need to do in order to get your email to start working again. Okay, so why would I say that the issue most likely is not your iPhone? And it's usually for one very, very simple reason. And this is something that you've got to make sure that you understand in order for you to really kind of comprehend and get how the email is working. So remember something, your email is not technically on your phone and it's not on your iPad. Your mail app, with whatever kind of mail app that you're using, but most people use the mail app that comes with the phone and you've put your email in. Most of you uh, use that, and when you do that, you gotta remember what you're doing. You're using an app, and what you're telling that app to do is you're giving it the information and it's going over to the email service provider, so let's just say it's Gmail, since it's the most popular email out there. So you're not receiving your Gmail, for example. Most likely the problem is that there is some kind of issue that has happened between the Gmail server talking to your phone. That most likely is the problem. And the reason I say that is if you've got a problem with your iPhone and it's going to be something that's hardware related, well, that would never affect your email. So we know immediately it's not a problem with the hardware on the phone. So then it's really just kind of a software issue. Okay, well, since the email isn't technically on your phone to begin with, all you're doing is using the app, then that means something has disrupted that app talking to the email server. And all we need to do is just reconnect the phone to the email server. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. Okay, so we're gonna use this article from support.apple.com and it's basically just called, if you can't send an email on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, so just the iOS devices. So there's a few things they want you to try, but there's really a end-all, be-all step that you're gonna end up doing, and I'm gonna give you some warnings here in a second about before you do this. Um, so, but like it's saying here, there are a few things to keep in mind and check. First of all, you wanna make sure that your phone or your iPad is up to date. So you wanna make sure that you're running the latest software. Um, make sure that your device is connected to the internet. Um, like it's saying here in this first part, remember like your phone is not making a backup of your email because the email's not on the phone. So it's not actually backing it up. So don't panic when we are gonna end up deleting the email because we are not actually deleting your email account. All we're gonna do is delete it from the phone and then turn right around and put it right back in. Now, for those of you who are running into issues with iCloud email, that is a little more involved. That could be something as simple as turning off mail in your iCloud settings and then turning it back on, um, or maybe just like turning off the phone and then turning it back on again. I mean, iCloud email is a little bit different. I'm not sure that I'm gonna go too into depth with it since most people aren't using iCloud email, but um, you can always contact Apple support as well. Um, the next thing that they say in here is check the outbox for unsent email. I don't really think you need to do this step. Um, if you're not receiving your email, then you're obviously not sending your email either. So we're gonna kind of skip ahead of this. 
Now this is the first thing that you would really kind of want to do and that is to make sure that your password is correct. So if the mail app asks you to enter a password for your email account, make sure that your password is correct. To check your email address and password, sign in to your email provider's website. So what they're saying here is all you need to do is go on a computer or you can go on your phone and for example if it's gmail you're going to go to gmail.com and once you're there you're going to put in your email address and then you'll put in your email password just to make sure that your password is correct because if your password is correct when you sign in through the website then that means it's the correct password when you're putting it in on your phone so if you're still not able to sign in on the phone or your iPad, then it most likely means that there is a problem that the email server is actually having in sending out uh, the emails from the server to your phone. And that is why the next step they give here is contact your email provider or system administrator. Now. I'm going to recommend that you do not do that, at least not until you actually do this step first. Now this step right here is removing your email account. We're going to talk about this here uh, again in a second. Okay, so the whole reason that you do not want to have to contact your email service provider is because first of all, it's incredibly difficult to actually get a hold of somebody that is actually going to be able to help you. And so it just depends on what kind of accounts that you're using. Now I'm gonna give you a few examples here for people that usually run into a lot of issues with their mail not working. And that is gonna be people who are using like AOL or Comcast. Um, people who are kind of using email service providers that are older or they're not really like Comcast, for example, I mean, they're a cable provider. Their focus is not email. So they will run into a lot of issues with their email. And I don't want to just tell you, go get a brand new email account, but it is something that you probably do want to think about because you're probably going to run into these issues again. But what we want to do here is actually remove the account. So as long as you have already gone to the website and you have tried to use your password, then you know that your password works. Um, then what we wanna do is actually go into the phone and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the account. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so we're gonna go on our test phone here. We're gonna go all the way back to the first settings screen. So we clicked on settings, we're on the first screen and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on mail right there. And after we click on mail, we're then going to click on accounts. You see accounts right there. And then you see how we have the iCloud and then the mail account. This is I just a fake account I put in from mail.com. So once we're in here, you see right there, it gives you the option to delete the account. And that's all that you need to do. Just hit delete account, and then that is gonna be it. You just deleted it, and now it is removed. Okay, so that's how simple it is to actually delete the account. So if it's been a while and you don't remember how to add an account, well, let's look at that as well, because it's really simple. All right, so once again, we're going on our test phone. We're gonna click on settings. We're gonna scroll down and click on mail. And once we click on mail, we are now gonna click on accounts again. And the nice thing about the phone is, uh, and we wanna click on add account. So if you're trying to add a Yahoo or a Gmail account, it kind of gives you the different options up here at the top. So there's Microsoft Exchange, Google, Yahoo, etc. So, but if you've got something that's not listed there, you're just gonna click on other. So for this example, we're just gonna click on other here. And then I was putting in my um, information so you would click on add mail account up there at the very top. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your email address. So I think the fake one that I made 
I think I deleted it already. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and check, but I'm just putting in my fake name and then I am putting in the email address that I created. And so I put in the email and then I would put in the password right underneath it. Now remember, as long as you checked and made sure that you know what your password is, then you shouldn't have a problem here. So you would put in the password and just take your time, make sure that you type it in correctly. And then once you do that in the top left corner, it, it would highlight the word next and then you would just click next and then it would take you to the next screen and boom, it would give you either, it would immediately load up or it would give you a few options on information to bring over like maybe calendars or reminders or notes, something along that line. And then that's pretty much it, you're done. Now, once that's completed, you have added the email account back in. If the email at this point is not coming back into your phone, I've got good news for you and bad news for you. Here's the good news. There is nothing wrong with your phone, nothing. There's nothing wrong with your device. It is totally fine. It's working the way it's supposed to. Everything's a-okay. The problem, the bad news here is actually the issue is your email service provider. They are having a problem with their servers. If you contact your email service provider, knock yourself out, but they're basically going to tell you, yeah, okay, well, we'll notate it. And then that's going to be the end of it. Remember something. It's not a problem that is specific to you. If you're having this issue, then there are tens of thousands of other people who are having the same exact problem at the exact same time. So calling your email service provider, probably not the best idea because I don't really know how far you're going to get, but that's your decision. Uh, make it on your own. What I would suggest though is for anyone out there who is consistently encountering problems with their email, um, definitely think about getting a different email service provider. I know it's a pain in the butt to have to create a new email account, but it's just not worth the hassle and the headache to keep running into problems like with companies like AOL or, you know, Comcast. I mean, I, I, plenty of people have told me how many issues they've had with Comcast. So I, I would never recommend it, but Hey, it's your email. It's your phone. It's your life. You do whatever you want. But like I'm saying, good news is your phone's okay. Bad news is your email provider. Yeah, they suck. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. This is a super, super simple short video uh, because usually the problem that you are encountering is not going to be the phone itself, but it is going to just simply be the email server. They're having issues and do not be surprised if you encounter issues with your email on the weekends. Tech companies will tend to do their maintenance on their servers on the weekends. So it's not uncommon to kind of run into an email issue uh, on Saturday or Sunday. So you might even just wait till Monday and see if anything comes back. Uh, but suffice it to say, odds are your phone or your iPad is going to be just fine. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it to be helpful, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. And don't forget to send this video to your friends and family so I can turn them into experts as well. Alrighty guys, thanks so much. We will see you in the next one. See ya.